the long-awaited Uniqlo U collection has just dropped. If you're like me, you've already done your research online, you've made a wish list of everything that you're looking for, and you have an idea of what your top items are versus what your, hmm, I might get it, I might not items. In this video, I'm gonna take you shopping with me as I go through the Uniqlo U collection as it dropped in store. And I'm also going to take you to some other shops that I happen to go to that day. And then later on, make sure that you stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a try on haul for you. And I'm gonna be talking about sizing, fabrics, everything that you need to know if you're considering picking up anything from this collection for yourself. Before we begin, I'm gonna ask you to please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you wanna support my channel. So we had all taken the day off work and we went to the store not really anticipating that it would be as busy as it was. I think the main thing with Uniqlo U is that it has such a big cult following and I can definitely see why. Everything is very affordable and you know that you're getting really beautiful quality as everything is designed by Christophe Lemaire, who is the creative director designer of Lemaire. As mentioned, I already had a wish list of everything that I wanted to hit up and check out in person. These beautiful single breasted coats were definitely on my list. I had already done my research and actually my friend did as well as she watched the Uniqlo U Live series that went up the day before. And we both knew that we wanted to try this piece on. I think they have it labeled as unisex on the website and I'm trying mine on in size extra small and you can definitely see that it's got that oversized roomy comfortable fit that I actually really like in my clothing. The next item that I was very excited about checking out, and this was actually on the top of my list, is this really beautiful, soft kind of flannel um, puffer jacket. I think it looks a lot better in person than it actually does on the website. And I tried on a size extra small. For reference, I am 5'4", and I thought the fit was actually really nice. While we were shopping, I asked my friend to hold my croissant bag from Le Mer and he tried it on. I thought it looked gorgeous with his outfit. He's wearing Stone Island pants, Air Force Ones, and some Uniqlo puffer jacket. And he even said himself that it's a really nice bag and he's now considering adding it to his wish list. I didn't look at everything that they had in this um, Uniqlo U, I almost called it the Le Mer collection, which I guess it kind of is like a mini Le Mer collection, but I didn't look at everything. I just kind of checked out the items that I had on my wish list just to make sure that it's something I wanted to add to my wardrobe. So if there's a lot of stuff that I missed, that would be why. I just wanted to stay focused and we already spent a lot of time at the store as it is trying things on and trying to get a feel of how they would work with our wardrobes. One of the coolest things about going in store to shop the collection was seeing the kind of people that this collection brought out. So for example, there was this one lady who was dressed so chic in her black trousers, her white shirt, and her little patent leather Chanel loafers. There was another guy wearing his Easy Miyake pants and his Ami sweater. There was a woman who was around us in this area upstairs by the men's section who asked my friend to try on the trench coat for her because she said that her husband was the same height as him and she wanted to get an idea of whether or not the jacket would, would fit on his frame. So it was just, it was a different experience going in store versus shopping online, which was which is what I've done in the past. And I, we just had so much fun. If you have the opportunity to shop this collection in person, then definitely do so. I think that you also get your first picks at everything as well. I know when I was shopping the Uniqlo Jill Sander collection last year, I logged on first thing in the morning and a lot of the items that I wanted had already sold out. So it just goes to show how timing is sort of really important when these collections drop. I did check the website as I was editing this video and that happened to be the day after launch day for this collection and a lot of stuff has already been sold out. So I'm really sorry if you didn't get your first picks, maybe check out other stores, see if an employee can help you track some of your favorites. I hope you find some good stuff at the Uniqlo U collection. I know that my friends and I all ended up getting something because everything was just absolutely incredible and really blew our expectations away. After doing a little bit of damage at Uniqlo, it was time for lunch and we were all really hungry so we stopped by the Cheesecake Factory. 
we got pasta, we got some salmon, we got um, french fries. And since we're at the Cheesecake Factory, of course we had to end up getting cheesecake, which we split between the three of us. We did a little bit of window shopping after lunch. We just decided to walk around after such a big meal. We ended up going to Celine and I wanted to show you my outfit here, which is this really amazing outer air blazer that I got last year. My Levi's, my La Mer croissant bag and my New Balance 2002 R's. We also made a pit stop at Bottega where my friend ended up getting a cell phone case for his new phone and I ended up trying some of these really beautiful bags from this current season. So my friend is actually a really big Athena fan and actually so am I. It, it, it's Athena Calderon, but we just all call her Athena. She's like Madonna in our circle. You know, you just like call her by the one name. So we had to check out her collection. As expected, everything is absolutely gorgeous. You had a lot of marble, you had clays, you had a lot of beautiful textures and really beautiful earthy colors as well. As tempting as it was, I didn't end up getting anything other than the tiny little bowl. And the reason is just because I have more than enough stuff in my home and I've recently been decluttering, so I'm very selective about any new things that I'm bringing into my home. Also, I picked up this weird thing a long time ago while watching this Karl Lagerfeld documentary. Instead of using jewelry boxes for his rings, he would actually keep around like little dishes and bowls all around his apartment and that's where he would keep his jewelry. So I started doing the same many years ago and that's basically where I store my jewelry. I do have a jewelry box at home, but honestly, I don't really use it. It just kind of sits in the back of my closet and anything that's like occasional pieces of jewelry, costume jewelry and stuff like that, that sits in that box. And I don't really, I don't really find myself digging for it that often, but everyday jewelry goes in those little dishes. My friend has impeccable taste in home decor and his entire home is designed in such a way that's just like very beautiful and ethereal and there's a lot of Athena-esque vibes in his home. This is it by the way on the screen, make sure you follow him at loft.637. But yeah, everything from Athena's collection was stunning and if you ended up picking up any furniture from her collection with Crate and Barrel, you are one lucky person. <laughs> Now it's time to do a little try on haul and show you everything that I got from the Uniqlo U collection. Again, I had a wish list leading up to my store visit, so I already had an idea of what I wanted to buy and how it was gonna flow with my existing closet. I also wanted to make sure that I added pieces in there that I was gonna be using for the winter and for the fall, and that would serve me for a long time. The first item that I got is the top item on my wish list and it's this beautiful cotton nylon blend puffer jacket. I'm calling it a puffer because it is slightly puffy even though it doesn't look like a traditional nylon puffer jacket. Because it's cotton, it's also not waterproof so it's something that I plan on wearing on the drier days. The details of this jacket are really beautiful and it makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. I paid $150 Canadian for this piece and I am wearing mine in a size extra small. As much as I love this piece, my only issue with it is the snap closure. I just feel like it should have had a zipper for the fact that number one, it's a fall and winter piece, but also I feel like it would make the piece look a lot more expensive than it is. I feel like the snap closure kind of cheapens the item a little bit and it does kind of get on my nerves, but not enough to pass up on it. My best friend and I were both eyeing this coat and I had no idea that she was eyeing the collection like a hawk, similar to how I was. So when we went to the store and we both went for that coat at the same time, I was just laughing hysterically. But this is this really gorgeous cotton twill coat. It's got that traditional Macintosh cut to it, which is really nice. It's also oversized and unisex. 
I'm wearing mine in a size extra small and it's got these two vents on the back at the bottom which is really nice because it allows movement in the body and I paired mine with my little La Mer croissant bag, my Bottega Veneta boots. The whole vibe of this outfit and the coat is very minimal and effortless and it's definitely something that I would wear if, if I have to go somewhere in a rush and I don't know how to put an outfit together. This is my idea of uniform dressing. You just have really beautiful classic cut staples and you put them together in such a way that reflects your personality. As beautiful as this coat is and as gorgeous as this brown color is, my only cons with this piece is that A, it's not waterproof. I really wish that it had some kind of waterproof coating on it because we are in fall and we're moving into winter, but also I think it looks kind of weird buttoned up on me, but maybe that's just my body type. The next item that I got is this lamb's wool ribbed sweater. On the website, the color is stated as gray. However, for me, it's more of a deep army olive green slash gray color. Definitely has a little green tinge to it, but it's a really beautiful neutral color nonetheless, and it pairs gorgeous with black. I decided to style it here with my nothing written trousers, my La Mer croissant bag, and my Bottega Veneta boots. This is a great piece because it's not very bulky and something that I don't like as um, someone with a bigger bust is when sweaters are bulky because it just creates more bulk on top and it makes me look bigger and I feel uncomfortable. I also like that these sweaters, in particular this lamb's wool turtleneck one, is more of a lighter weight knit so it moves nicely on the body, but it still insulates all of that warmth. And you also have the option to tuck these sweaters into your pants without creating any unnecessary bulk. Living in a cold climate like Canada, it's really important to find layers that will actually insulate your body heat. I have been such a big fan of Uniqlo Heat Tech for so many years now and I've worn it to some really crazy trips where they've been outdoors and it's been ice and it's felt like minus 25, minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. So I really believe in heat tech. When I saw that the Uniqlo U collection was going to include this mock neck that had heat tech in it, I knew that I had to pick it up. This one was $30 Canadian and it's a great basic on its own, but it's also a good piece that can be layered onto. I think it comes in a few different colors. However, I only ended up getting the off-white because I, I love the look of a good off-white turtleneck, so I know I'm going to get a lot of wear from it. Now I'm going to do a part two of this video and that's going to be styling all these pieces in multiple different ways because you know I love to do that. That is everything for this video. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what did you pick up from the Uniqlo U collection and what was your favorite out of all the things that I got. I will see you in the next video. Thank you again. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.